Was haben Sie darüber gedacht? Ja, das sage ich Ihnen noch. The Breeding Generations Project aims to bring together people of various ages, social backgrounds and cultures from different countries to interact culturally and exchange their experiences and beliefs with regard not only to the commemoration of the World War II, but also to foster the EU identity, to sustain Europe's unity and peace, and to encourage people to overcome their fear of the other, stereotypes and prejudices. And uh, me, I'm uh, proud that uh, the majority of the people is convinced we have to be open for all people. Luftschutz. <laughs> this means this was the entrance uh, where the people could hide during the war, uh, during the bombing. So it is from the uh, Nazi regime. First uh, February 1982. What was, uh, that was a uh, time of uh, bombing, 1945? At this place, about 7,000 dead uh, people were cremated. You see two words. Love is bigger than hate, or hate is going to destroy love. In some situation, are you going to be able to kill other people out of hate or out of love? of the snowboards is a hint since when Jewish people couldn't do things they were used to do. And if you're going to shake it, you see it's not a snow, it's ashes. And this is a symbol for the six million people uh, the Germans killed during the Second World War. Wir sind heute zu einem neuerlichen Treffen der Generationen zum 13. Februar versammelt. Das findet bereits zum 11. Mal statt. Von Anbeginn an war es nicht allein ein Wiedersehen der Älteren untereinander, sondern eine Begegnung der Generationen. Uh, those textiles are made by Chemnitz uh, pupils to make a symbol to say to a sign through the world. You can only have peace if you give it, and um, no way for racism. Everyone joining us will again be able to comprehend which crimes against humanity, racism, and nationalism have caused beforehand. <laughs> Aus dem 13. Februar erwächst für uns als Stadt die Verantwortung für Frieden. Und wie ich es bereits gerade in der Frauenkirche gesagt habe, dieser Frieden, meine Damen und Herren, beginnt bei uns, bei jedem von uns. Wir alle reichen uns hoffentlich gleich die Hände. Dies ist ein uraltes Symbol für Gemeinschaft, 
Verbundenheit, aber auch Vertrauen. Θα σα δείξω έναν τρόπο για να, που θα μα βοηθήσει να ξεκινήσουμε να χτίζουμε την αφήγησή μας, Περίμενε. την ατομική μας αφήγηση σε δύο επίπεδα. Okay. Εδώ προτιμώ να λέω ότι το κάτω επίπεδο είναι τα μεγάλα ιστορικά γεγονότα και το πάνω επίπεδο είναι τα ατομικά ιστορικά γεγονότα. Orange is the social environment in history. Blue is my own life. And always when we visit my grandma, we pass um, a street that goes along the Rhine River. And there was a bridge, it was called the Bridge of Lima. I started to realize what the Second War meant for my family. General English things happening, people walking around in the rain. So. My father didn't uh, join into the Communist Party, that's why he couldn't get a better job. Uh, I love cats, I had 24 cats in my garden. The military stayed in the house of my grandma because the village was close to this bridge now, so we can see the changes in my life, in our lives. Wir freuen uns besonders, dass dieses Projekt auch hier im Kulturrathaus stattfindet, weil meine Aufgabe zum Beispiel auch die ist, darüber nachzudenken, wie man die Erinnerungskultur und die städtischen Aktivitäten der Erinnerungskultur auch wieder stärker in Richtung von ja, historisch-politischer Bildung zu bringen. Und gerade in Dresden kann man beobachten, dass das Lernen aus der Erinnerung keineswegs selbstverständlich ist, sondern vielfältige Schwierigkeiten hat. Coventry is a constant reminder of conflict and is itself a symbol of the destruction and torment caused by war. However, with the ever-growing number of students at the university and its entrepreneurial spirit, Coventry shows how a devastated city can rise from the ashes and bring forth change and hope for generations to come. The memory is related tightly with the time, so time makes you uh, value more the object. It's always a personal story and the language one used to describe the emotions related to the objects. That is why we switch from the collective narration about the history to then a personal testimonies. Relations between objects and the people seems to be as old as the human is. multicultural and diverse Europe will be sustained.